Welcome to our lecture online. In this chapter, we're going to talk more about combinations and permutations. We need to know what the difference is between them, how to calculate them, and when to figure out what we're dealing with, because sometimes it's not quite clear, and definitely how to calculate the result, the number of permutations and the number of combinations that we can have. Typically, we're dealing with some sort of population, and we're going to grab something out of that population, and we want to know how many different ways in which we can grab a certain number out of a population. And we want to know how many permutations there are and how many combinations there are. Now, the main difference between the two with permutations, that order does matter. Let's say we have five numbers in a bag, and we're going to pick at random three numbers out of the bag. Well, n equals 5, that's the total number that we have, and r equals 3, that's the number that we pick out of the bag. Since the order matters, it does matter how we pick them out of the bag. 1, 2, and 3 picked out of the bag in that order is not going to be the same as picking number 2 first, then number 1, and then number 3. These are two different permutations. But when it comes to a combination, order doesn't matter if I pick out number one, then number two, number three. That's exactly the same as if I pick number two first, then number one, and then number three, because in the end I end up with the same three numbers. That's all that matters when we're dealing with combinations. It's which numbers do I end up with, not in what order do I pick them, or what order do I put them on whatever it is that I put them on. So therefore we have two different equations. Now notice they look somewhat similar. The number of permutations, given the numbers in the bag, and the number that I pull out is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. The number of combinations, given that there's n numbers in the bag, and I pick out r number, in this case 3, the equation is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, so that part is exactly the same, but in addition to that, I multiply that times 1 over r factorial. That is the difference between the two equations for permutations and combinations. So let's calculate what we end up with in this particular example. So here, n factorial, that n is 5, so we end up with 5 factorial divided by n minus r. That would be 5 minus 3 quantity factorial. So this is equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. And 5 factorial would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 for 2 factorial. These cancel out, so end up with 5 times 4, which is 20 times 3, which is equal to 60. Now, for the number combinations. Again, the same five numbers. I pick any three, but now the order does not matter. So here, I end up with n factorial, which is 5 factorial divided by... 5 minus 3 factorial, but I now multiply this 1 over r, which is 3 factorial. All right, what does that look like? Well, the same as before for the first part of the equation, that is equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 1 over 3 factorial, so that's equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. So notice that these cancel out, I still end up with 60 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, so 60 divided by 6, which is equal to 10. So here you can see that there are 60 permutations, 60 different ways in which I can take the three numbers I pull out of a bag of five numbers, in which I can arrange those three numbers, if I can draw them at random, but if it doesn't matter what order they appear in, I pick out three numbers, how many different ways can I pick three numbers, regardless of what order is? There's only 10 different combinations. There's 60 different permutations. So that's how you can tell the difference between permutations and combinations. So the only thing is you have to keep straight in your mind which word belongs to which definition, because that's sometimes also a way to uh, to uh, get messed up. The way I remember is that combination starts with a C, permutation starts with a P, combinations comes first in the alphabet compared to P for permutations, combinations is a smaller number, permutations is always a bigger number. That's how I remember the difference between combinations and permutations. That's, that's how it's done.